All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One and Only. This is a little bit of a video I've been actually stacking up. I have like my own little notes here that I've just been, you know, putting a pretty decent. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One and Only, and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different again when it comes to a nice chronicle. Um, since everybody's throwing out their suggestions, ideas for the game, I thought I would throw mines out there just because there is a, I have like a list of eight things, well, seven or eight things that I've literally just been making pretty much as the game went on. So I got like eight little things that I wish would, you know, come to the game or change or something like that. Um, so let's get into it. The first thing are helper rewards. It would be nice if we can choose what rewards we want because some of us i've talked to people inside of my chat and we've talked about it a little bit um we think that we should be able to take like gold or pow points we should be able to choose which one we actually want from like you know gaining from people using our like allies but that's like just a little small thing um the rest of the stuff is kind of like bigger things. This is just like something a little small. Um, I doubt this will come to the game or anything or change, but you know, I'll just throw it out there or something like that. All right, the second thing. And the thing I've been talking about a lot would be really nice in this game if we had um, a Valshman costumes. Well, Valshman skins for free. You guys have played um, King's Raid before. They have the whole, you can change back to the normal skins. Well, the skins you passed. Let's say um, I just evolved to a six star, but I like the five stars like skin way better. I can just equip the five star skin. This would be fantastic for the whole costume system for sure. Give us that for free, but we would have to unlock it by evolving the character. Let's say that the costume skins won't have any like um, badge slots. It won't have any like stats on it or anything like that. It would just be a normal skin pretty much. Let's just say that. I know some people would love it to have badges, but they're, they're evolving skins. Now, since they're sticking with the whole um, costume system, how it is right now into like this week and we'll see in the patch notes if they change it or not people are giving it like one more week before they think about quitting or not i i honestly don't care i've told you guys that i pretty much don't need skins because i'm not pvp focused i'm more of a pve player so yeah i think i'm pretty decently good on that and plus i get to use their units anyway so <laughs> plus up for me I won't be buying the skins anytime soon. Well, the special skins anytime soon. So, I should be fine. Um, but yeah, these Evolution skins would definitely, like, I would say, please the community a little bit. Just because there are more favorite, like, skins from, like, 4 star to 5 star than their 6 stars. For sure. Like, me with Flair. Like, I've always told you guys I love her 4 star skin more than her 5 and 6 star skin always just because it reminds, reminds me of jury <laughs> all right next thing well yep i guess you guys can guess this one because i talked about it plenty of times multiplay multiplay needs to be you know somewhat upgraded lobbies have always been fine inside of some of these games going into a random quick room not the best thing ever but also, we need a better way of inviting our friends into a room instead of just taking a link and sending it to them. You know, it's cool to invite your friends to other guilds and everything, but if you invite a... Fr if, let's just say if there's like a friend invite here. Invite a friend, either tell them in a separate chat invite that you've been invited to a raid, or have a little icon that pops up on the side that says you've been invited. We need an easier way to invite our friends to these matches. I definitely have been trying to play with a lot of people inside of my streams, but 
it's really annoying just to be like, oh, I'm just going to come here, copy this huge message, and I want you guys to see um, the huge message without showing the rest of the list that's going to be going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to monitor. I'm going to bring this list over here. This is the message. Yeah. All of this. I put it into my Twitch chat just for them to join. So you have to, so basically you have to use this code off the emulator or on your phone. So that means clicking the link on your phone brings up the game automatically. Clicking the, putting the link inside of a browser does not work. If you're going to put it inside of a browser, it's going to be on your phone or on the emulator just to get into the room. This is a lot of crap to be putting in. I'd rather just invite a friend over just sending them a message. It does not help. That would be fan freaking fantastic over like a lobby or something. You know, just invite people who are not in your guild because there aren't people that's just gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna leave my guild just to join this guild just so I can get invited easier. No one's gonna do that. And no one wants to go through the tedious part of closing their game, copying this link, and throwing it into their phone. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be like, oh, Twitter, let me go ahead and type that in and go into my phone. Nobody's gonna be the same way with land and stuff like that. Well, line and stuff like that. Just give us a friend list invite. Like I said, make a separate chat that says invites. So we can just jump into it and go straight in. Or just have like a little icon that says you've been invited. That would be fantastic with the person's name and everything that says so and so has invited you to this raid. That that would be just fine by me. That would be amazing. But multiplayer does have a little bit of lag issues from what I've seen. It has had like crashes and DCs from a lot of people. So really hoping those connection issues get fixed. But I'm pretty sure it's from like who's ever a party le leader. And 9 out of 10 when I get matched up with somebody. They get randomly disconnected. It's happened in Britain Dungeon like so many times to be honest. As soon as we get to the last boss. Everyone gets dis disconnected. That has happened to me before. That's why I have not touched multiplayer for a while. And it just hasn't been worth it for me. I'm just going to say that. And several other people have disconnected from it too. And even when I run like multiplayer inside of Britain's dungeon. People will get disconnected. Those who have been in my chat. Fully understand that. Now. Number four. Um, the damage list. The damage list was really useful to have, for sure. I wish we would have the option to have that back, just because I want to see how much damage my characters did, and how much damage the boss did to me. But I'm pretty sure there was probably like some kind of type of like issue with it or something that had them like concerned to the point where they had to remove it. Uh, if you guys know anything about that, let me know, because I don't know why they removed it from the game. But the damage list was always like really helpful to me, that is. But some people probably would have thought different or anything like that, you know. It's, let's just say, I would love to see how my units are like improving in damage inside of a dungeon. Improving inside of heals inside of a dungeon. What enemies use... How much damage they actually do to me. Freaking um, nukes from bosses and advents. I want to see if I can actually survive those attacks. And you know what buffs I can throw on just to survive it. Uh, next. Number five. The most crucial freaking thing. That I wish they would have added. And would add at this point. Leader selection. Stop. Just making us, um, oh, well, apparently I had those done. Oh, it's 11. The server's just pretty much reset. Stop 
making us just go into our heroes and whoever's in our first slot at our party is our leader. No, stop. It, it needs to be changed. Just give us like a little leader selection. Who do you want to set as your leader for everybody else to use? Because nine out of 10, people will not even know about the first slot leader thing because we don't use the first slot le leader thing because we have to use it for other people to use our supports. Just add in a leader select. No, oh, a helper select. Let's say, let's say that. I've been saying that wrong. Yeah, just give us a helper select to the point where we can choose what we want to put up there for everybody to use. I've gotten this question so many times from guild members of coming in, like new players be like, how do I change the helper for everybody to use? Well, you got to go into your first party and whoever's in the first slot is the helper everybody's going to be using. No, just change it to like a select inside of here. I would rather go all the way over to heroes. Oh, well, that's not heroes. Whoops. <laughs> I'd rather go all the way over to hero. Okay, thanks game. Interrupting crucial moments here. Thanks. Cool. But I would rather go all the way over to hero. And have like... Hero box. Hold down or something. And have, do you want to select this character? Oh, no, just have like a crown here. To select as helper. That, that would be fantastic. That would be perfect. Just have like a little crown here that you want to set to help her. Then you just have like a crown with an H on it to pretty much <laughs> to pretty much say, hey, this person is going to be your helper for everybody else to use. That'd be fantastic for new players instead of them just trying to figure out how to get like helpers. That People don't even add these people just because of this reason. If... Let's just say I, I see you with like a four star Damien. Yeah, four star Damien that's just sitting right there just like, oh, I'm not going to add this guy because it doesn't look like he's worked on his units. But the rest of his team would be six stars. Like he's working on the characters. But this is his leader that he's deciding to stick with just because he hasn't leveled up the character yet or something. It's... It's way easier just to put a helper select instead of the whole first team BS that's going on. I, we've been talking about this for like the longest and uh, they just don't understand that this is actually really annoying, especially for newer players who come in and are just confused about this. This would be a way easier approach to the situation. All right, the next thing, um, well, it was going to be well, I still have this thing on my list that I was going to take off because um, certain things. Um, it was going to be the whole achievement characters. But I realized I was going to say that nobody's going to want to create another character or anything. But here's the thing. These quests are pretty much for enhancing the skills. You're, you're still going to have to evolve in order for Dandy up to level 6. Just to enhance. So you'll get this either way. But nobody's going to actually just... Well, actually, ne never mind. I was going to say nobody's just going to weld it all out and just go back in. But then I thought about it. There are wells in the game. Duh. But it seems like... Once the banner is already passed, all you get is Evolve. So, yeah. So you got to do it then and there when a new character releases or comes up somewhere in the banner. These skills... Because the next time Verdandi pops up, you won't get these. These will no longer be available to you. This is your only chance to actually get like the skill times and stuff like that. Because then next time Verdandi pops up in a banner, all she's going to get is evolve to level 6. And 5. One time. As you can see, Electra is the same way. So, yeah. That's literally all you're going to get. I can literally just evolve my Electra right now, but I'm not going to do that right now. Yep, same thing with Etika. So I was going to, you know, touch on this. I was going to say that just give us items so we don't have to do it again. But then I thought about it. Eh, this is actually 
a pretty straightforward system. So I'm not going to touch on this. So I'm going to skip that. Um, next. Bounties. Yes. Bounties. I feel like bounties could definitely expand to something way different. And here's the idea I had for bounties. Bounties get repetitive after a while, just finding the same enemies over and over and over and over and over again. I would really like like a leveling system for bounty. Like the more bounties you do, the tougher enemies you're gonna get, like custom enemies. I wouldn't even mind random for like more gold. Like the more your bounty levels up, Let's just say you have like a ranking system. Like one of them's rookie, then you go to like knight, adventurer, stuff like that. Like different rankings gives you different type of enemies that you have to fight for goad. And the higher your rank, the more rewards you get. Like just going in here into story and fighting these characters over and over again gets really boring. Like you kind of want to you kind of feel like you want a challenge, you know? Like, it's it's fun to get, you know, like a little bit of easy goad, but... This is all you get. I want a challenge to where I can, like, build up my rank. To where I can start capturing units. Like, stronger units. But... I want you guys to let me know how you guys feel about this. I think it, it would sound interesting, you know? Having, like, a little... Like a little leveling system here to where you get five new ones that are basically random you can get versus D Kane or that croc from um, Britain or something. You know, have like special bounties or have like categories that level you up depending on like your rank. Like there could be a rank E's over here, a rank D list right here that you can just enter. And if you complete all those, you get that amount of gold for whichever rank you completed. If you start at rank A, you can't like go out of it until tomorrow because then it resets itself. So let's say I will go into rank C, I will complete that and that's all I can do for that day. If I go into rank A and I lose and I can't, you know, figure out the boss or anything like that, I have to wait until tomorrow for it to reset and then I will try like a lower rank like rank B enemies you know like things like that that could be interesting but like I said these are just like suggestions ideas or things like that this is not like hey you guys should definitely do this stuff even though the whole multiplayer thing yeah the multiplayer and the, and the whole leader thing yeah you guys do that I would rather have better helpers than what we have now because <laughs> there's still people sitting on Rebecca's that aren't even leveled up and they're still playing the game they're pretty active um, next is one thing that I was talking about with my chat like a day or two ago boss dungeon the runes are pretty difficult to get uh, well my rewards are in here the runes are pretty difficult to get for sure. Everybody I've talked to, I suggested like a boss coin system for like the same, pretty much the same thing as Arena and Guild Dungeon. Put a shop in here. You know, with like a character and the runes itself. That would be way easier because these runes are really difficult to get inside of boss dungeon and mostly every like streamer or other person i've talked to have been wanting this system as well but then again i haven't really talked to anybody on like forums or anything like that so i don't have like huge feedback you guys give me feedback on this video how you guys feel about the whole boss coins and everything just to exchange in you know like we can still keep the chest because that's pretty much just like free chest to get in Give us like a little bit of coins based on our rank too. Just so we can go inside a boss, like the boss shop and, you know, spend some coins, you know, try to get them a little bit easier. Cause these are like really difficult to access for newer players for sure. And mid players, 
dire players they can get those easy for us that's a way bigger challenge and that's pretty much it for the boss dungeons and stuff um i can't really think of anything else right now to be honest uh that's pretty much all i had on my list to be honest with you so yeah guys this is the list that's i put down uh let me know how you guys feel about some of this stuff i've talked about i know not everybody's gonna agree with it i know not everybody's gonna be on board with it i know you guys have your own opinion towards these but try and help me out a little bit you know you know give me like some suggestions of how to change some of the stuff i'm talking about or your pretty much your own peace of mind of how what i've said could be better you know but yeah everybody else was voicing their opinions i just thought i should before this game hits rock bottom before um these other really good games that are listed to come out could probably easily take over this game i'm sorry to say that but there are really good games that are coming out real soon that will be replacing knight's chronicle especially since the whole everybody feels like it's getting really pay to win type situation especially if they're pvpers i can completely understand what you guys where you guys are coming from because so mary mary is painful that that special skin of mary's is really painful to deal with not only that that morgana and her ebony wounds it is really painful as well <laughs> so i perfectly understand you guys there but with that said hope you guys enjoyed uh, like I said, give me your feedback and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. What you got to lose?